grocery store beads and the tops are taken up, they have cut it right down below on that line. Never do that. If you get a bunch of beads from your from here or some other place and you want to store them, you should separate the tops. Because all root vegetables, the roots will draw out of the soil water and nutrients, vitamins and so forth to feed and keep this alive. If you keep it together in the refrigerator, this will continue to, or should say this will continue to bring from here water and this will be weak and this will be weak. This will get more and more dehydrated as it stays. So when you get home, you want to cut about a half inch to an inch above that. Always leave a little bit of stem on when it comes to a for that many any root vegetable. And then you're going to boil that, of course you wash it, but boil it or roast it. And then the easiest way to peel a beet without getting your hands all purple is take a big bowl, bring it to the sink, put pour cold water in the bowl, put the, those hot beets in the cold water, let them sit and cool down a bit, put your hands in that water and rub the beet skin will come right off, okay? Instead of trying to peel with the peeler and then your hands are red and your board is all red too. I do have an acrylic board that I use for beads in, in, in any case. This is of course very edible, many of you know that. Um, this I might juice, like because I juice in the morning. Uh, this I will take it. You can eat these as well. Wash them really well. They're very sandy and I saute them with garlic and the olive oil. Almost any of these tops, radish tops, are very edible. If you get radishes in your basket, please eat the tops. Radish tops are very good for you. Um, turnip tops, they're wonderful for you. And then of course a lot of 